Hello auto lovers, welcome back to Auto Universe channel, we hope you guys in good health. Today we gonna show you 2023 Range Rover First Edition walk around and review, and explain the details of the car, we hope you guys enjoy it. Please don't forget to subscribe for more videos, thanks for watching. The surprisingly bulky vehicle sports 23 inches rims, an oddly sedate design that still manages to be eye-catching, and a generally smooth outer shape that doesn't look like it's worth spending the price of an actual, used, supercar on. There's no denying that loads of thought has gone into the design but Land Rover has saved its value for the first edition's interior. Still, worth noting are the running boards. This vehicle is higher off the ground than it looks. It'll automatically lower suspension to let you clamber in, but that's hardly dignified. There's an automatically retracting running board the length of the body, between the tires, obviously, that pops out when the door is opened. Close the doors and start up and it disappears back to its place of concealment. This is just one of many little touches Land Rover uses to make drivers feel like they've got value for money. The company's door lights make sure you always know where you're stepping in the dark but, like we said, you really need to spend time inside it to appreciate just what the company's done here. Comfort Creature Slipping into the cabin envelopes you in the most comfortable car seat you've ever been in. It's no bucket seat with a 5-point harness. You won't be driving that fast. It's more like the sort of chair you'd buy if you were planning to watch Netflix while remaining seated for as long as possible. The headrest is extremely soft and seat adjustment is a breeze. If it's uncomfortable, it's entirely your fault. The space between the driver's and passenger's seats is equally lush. There's a cooled container for soft drinks, beer is probably a terrible idea. The gearshift occupies an island between two sections that'll hold your detritus. If you want to conceal their contents from the world at large, tasteful panels can be shifted over them. Wireless charging and USB ports are, of course, included. Above is what the Range Rover First Edition calls a sliding panoramic roof. Want some actual sunlight on your pasty body? It's as simple as touching a switch on the ceiling. It's possible to remove just the cover or the entire panel to let a little fresh air into the cabin. Entertainment Industry The driver gets one of the better digital clock screens we've seen in a car, along with Range Rover's heads-up display projected onto the windscreen. In the center is a 13.1 inches touchscreen display with Land Rover's trademark OS running. Android Auto and Apple CarPlay are both takeover options if you feel the need. But it's the folks in the back who get the better part of the deal. Both rear seats are fitting with an 11.4 inches touchscreen display. In case you're left in any doubt about what those screens are for, a set of over-ear headphones is included in each rear passenger door. It's possible to connect to these screens, Bluetooth, charge your devices, USB, and generally entertain yourself while the driver gets on with driving you to your exclusive housing estate somewhere that included a helicopter landing pad. Road Worrier You'd expect AR 3.5 million Range Rover to handle the road like some sort of fluffy daydream and you'd be entirely correct. It's incredibly easy to forget that you're driving. Despite its bulk, the Range Rover First Edition is incredibly easy to navigate. Camera and sensor-assisted features let us cram it into spaces that we were really unsure about. It's surprisingly nimble too. Something this size usually comes across as top-heavy, slewing around corners rather than traversing them smoothly. That's not the case here. The first edition handles like a vehicle that weighs somewhat less than 3.3 tons. It's also surprisingly economical. It'll suck up 11 liters per 100 kilometers, which isn't bad for a 3.0 liter petrol engine. It's almost nippy, too. It'll hit 100 kilometers per hour in about 6.1 seconds, according to Land Rover, we were too busy being comfy to set a timer. It's also got a top speed of 234 kilometers per hour. 
But while there's a dynamic mode for that speedy takeoff, you really don't have to use it. I don't know my wrath, my blood boils over like, oh god here goes, I lost all feeling from my head to my toes, you said some shit that I...